You can see the title of the actual YouTube channel has changed. It used to be Fat to Fit Finance, and I did update that to Talks with TJ. Why did I do that? That's what the channel, the direction is actually going to be about. It's going to be Talks just with me about some of the things that I'm most passionate about, which will be budgeting, sneakers, just the boxes around me, and also all things Nike, hence my shirt. Yes, I do have a problem. We're going to discuss whole my whole Nike problem as well on this channel, but I'm glad to actually be back on YouTube in front of the camera. I don't ever think my life is that interesting, views are that interesting, but a lot of you and other people do. Specifically, Lexi, I'm, I'm blaming you for this of me being back on YouTube, but it is nice to be able to share my thoughts and everything via video. Uh, you guys can always be able to reference it back. Now, from the previous videos I did for this channel, I will not be taking those down. Those are all up, so you'll be able to see them. But I guess I should go ahead and explain what you can expect from talks with TJ. Budget, sneakers, clothing hauls. That's really what I'm going to try to focus on and show you guys and kind of tie the two in together of how creating a budget and making sure that I budget to treat myself allows me to do this, allows me to buy things that I may love. Is there still a sticker on this shirt? You guys are going to get very raw footage here. I don't think I'm going to edit any of this. There's still a sticker on my shirt because this is a brand new shirt. Oh, well, that's kind of how life goes uh, for me. So <laughs> you're going to be able to get and see all of this just as raw as my face is. Like, I don't wear makeup. I can't tell you how to contour darn thing. That's just not something I'm good at. I'm good at sneakers and budgets and that's that's really just me so i'm gonna try to keep these videos as short and sweet as i can like i said raw production footage i don't have some expensive camera this is all done on a google pixel 2 just like all of the pictures that are taken on my instagram page which is at fit jeter girl and also on my twitter uh they're all taken just with my phone google makes an amazing phone uh so yeah that's what i'm going to be filming with as well and showing you guys everything about this channel. Now, the big thing I want to talk about introducing you back to this channel, Talks with TJ, we're going to talk about budgets and uh, kind of just my views on money. That's really what the original channel, Fat to Fit Finance, was about. And my views on money have changed somewhat. Now, I won't go into all the details of how they've changed, but I will go into some main points. Now, in 2017, I wanted to read more. That's just something that I wanted to do. So I actually read, I think, close to 14 personal finance books. And that can change your views a little bit. That can open your mind up to different, uh, a different way of thinking, new perspectives, and how you can maybe alter the approach that you have with money to better suit yourself and how things change, how life changes, right? Life changes. 14 books. Um, I think, or close to 14. I have them all listed below in the description box, so you can see the, the books that, that I read, and those actually kind of sparked me to think, huh, I wonder if I should share my views on budgeting and how I do it, and I did. So after reading all those books in November, actually right around my birthday, I wrote an ebook. So that is also something I'll touch on. I'll see if I can pull it up on tablet form for you guys here. Uh, just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Um, so how to build a set budget. It's going to be hard for you to see this. I mean, that's kind of like the... I guess let me show it here. Yeah, a little bit. So how to build a set budget. That is the ebook that I wrote. It is 44 pages long, so short and sweet, hopefully like this video. And it shows you how I actually budget. So I budget based on set budgeting which means um, after you take care of the first four, and I won't go through all of this in an actual separate video, but uh, the set part, S-E-T, uh, stands for save um, extra debt payments, or make, yeah, <laughs> extra debt payments and treat yourself. As you can see, I don't have a problem treating myself. So uh, my budget allows me to be able to do all of that and I wanna be able to share that with you because I think maybe, you know, any new approach to how to better manage money, especially in the economy we're in right now, can help you. 
let's just talk about some of the ways my views have changed on money that you may have seen from previous videos of mine. Um, I do still believe and support a lot of the things that Dave Ramsey does. I actually had someone call me the Dave Ramsey of fitness once. That was really funny to be able to hear. Uh, but one of the big things is, you know, the thousand dollars emergency fund and you just stick to that thousand dollars as you're making your way out of debt. Uh, yeah, that, that, looking back on it, that just didn't really sit well with us just to only have a thousand sitting there. Because if you think about it, if you have a vehicle, uh, just to get tires can set you back quite a bit and diminish that emergency fund if it's only a thousand dollars. Um, and also when emergencies happen or things happen, it's a snowball effect, right? So if it's tires and then maybe it's your phone and the dog, the dog is actually sleeping over here. You guys can't tell where she's passed out. <laughs> the dog and, you know, everything can just snowball and happen. So the thousand by itself did not work for us. So, you know, we definitely up that and then we actually save monthly. So on top of the emergency fund we already have built, we still save monthly. That's just something that gives us security. Uh, and we also have sinking funds and I'll talk about that as well because I do highlight that in my ebook. So first thing kind of change a little bit, savings. Uh, one of the second things that changed, just the craziest thing for me, <sighs> car notes. So I've never had a car note in my life up until last year at the age of 20, how old was I? Seven? God, listen, once you're past 22, you don't even care about your age anymore and you often forget. Everyone doesn't believe me when I say that I'm 28 years old. I turned 29 on November 21st this year. I'm 28 and I still get mistaken for a high school senior sometimes. I get mistaken for a college freshman sometimes. I am done with school, okay? I graduated undergrad in 2011 and went straight through and was done with graduate in 2012 at 22 years old. I am done with school, six years removed, uh, but I am 28 <laughs> and... Yeah, it's the first time ever having a car note, and it was very unexpected uh, because I had a RAV4 2002, completely paid off since day one, and that engine broke down after about 230 plus thousand miles on it, so it did its job. It held up well. We could not function with just one vehicle. Thankfully, my husband works at a dealership, so we were able to actually go through wholesale and be able to get a vehicle for myself. I absolutely love this car. It's actually one of my dream cars or dream brands. I talk about it a little bit on my last Instagram post, so I guess a few Instagram posts back once this video is up, because this will be up Monday. But put that up, and uh, we have the, the card, and it's set to be paid off in June, so it would be an entire year that I actually had a car note. I'm not feeling the fact that I have a car note, but it was just kind of a necessary thing, so I will say I'm not a big fan of car notes. I'm definitely not a fan of leasing. But if you have to get a car note, make sure that it's something that you can pay off, I would say, within a year. Make sure that you can pay it off within a year and without any crazy finagling, but be able to pay it off in a year. Now, my car note is actually not even 5% maybe of just my take-home pay, not even including my husband's take-home pay. So very manageable. It was a blip in, I guess, the budget, you know, monthly for us. So it wasn't even a big deal to be able to get it because of how well we manage our money. I just didn't want to have to have a car note. But, you know, what are you going to do? I do love my car. It's amazing. I love riding in it. So, yeah, car notes, that views changed on that a little bit. Um, sorry, I hate saying um. My mom, like, does public speaking for a living. She would kill me right now if she heard me saying um. Third thing that did change a little bit when it comes to money trying to do it so crazy fast and when I say that you know you talk about gazelle intensity if you've ever heard Dave Ramsey and you want to go you want to go you want to go no matter what you eat beans and rice and for when I hate beans so that would never work you know rice and beans beans and rice you never go out and you never see the light of day in terms of entertainment or anything until you get out of debt and then you can go and enjoy life and that just didn't work for us. Like, for one, my husband is just a really hard worker, right? He will work himself into the ground. He's actually pretty selfless. He hates buying anything for himself. He'll buy the world for me and family that he cares about. Um, but in terms of, of, like, work, you know, he'll run himself into the ground. And so if I want to say, hey, run yourself into the ground so we pay this debt off really, really fast and I'll do the same, sure, he would do it, but that's just not... You have to step back and assess what is really going to work for you guys and for your life and what you want out of it because I think to lose yourself, to lose perspective of life and being able to enjoy it every single step of the way 
no matter what stage you may be in, whether it is getting out of debt, whether it's really establishing wealth, whether it's exploring, I don't know, different options, professions, whatever it may be, you need to be able to enjoy it. You need to be able to have fun with it. And, you know, when you run yourself into the ground so much, you, you just, that kind of becomes your main focus and that's all you're focused on. And it can just kind of take the, it kind of drain life. I will say that. So we had to take a little bit of a step back. Uh, we definitely had to go ahead and compromise on some things. So we upped his treat yourself fun because he works so freaking hard all the time. So with the increased money that we brought in, it was only right. He could get more. I got more. Hence the stuff around me. So yeah. Uh, fourth point, I would say, um, and, and that changed a little bit when it came to money. Eh. No, I guess this didn't really change. I'm still not that very open about talking about it with people. Uh, I don't mind having discussions about things. I think that's how you learn, you grow, you get a different perspective from someone else and it could be, you know, it could be different from yours. That's perfectly fine and that's a healthy thing. But <sighs> talking to people about finances is like talking about religion. It's like talking about food and, and fitness. I don't care to talk about that either. If you go on my Instagram, I'm very into fitness. I have a very fit life. I love working out. I, I love everything about it. The struggles, the progress you see. I'm all for that. But when you start to talk about it, people's views on finance, money, and religion, they're so embedded into the fiber of who you may be as an individual that people will fight you, like really be ready to fight you over that. So I'm still not really that open. I guess it's weird that I do YouTube videos talking about budgeting and money. Yeah, I don't really care to talk about it in person with people. So it's a little bit weird, but whatever. That's just, that's how it is. I'm just being 100% honest with you. Um, this video has gone on a little bit long. Crap, I did not expect it to go on this long. But yeah, so ch a little bit about changes, views, money. Again, you guys are going to get raw footage. I'll probably just go ahead and just upload this thing. Uh, I am going to try to upload consistently. So every single Monday, I'm going to try to make sure that I have an upload for you guys, for you to stay with me, learning about how I budget, learning about my ebook. I'm going to make sure, you know, you can you tablet. If you want the ebook now, before I even do the video on it, I've sent out almost 100 copies. Uh, it is free. I know that freaks some people out when they say, oh, it's free. I'll even get into why I did a free ebook versus, heck, selling it for a dollar, two dollars. I mean, I could have made a couple hundred bucks by now. But yes, it is free. So if you want it, you can email me. My email is here on my YouTube page. It's also found on my Instagram, I believe, and even my Twitter bio. So you can email me for my ebook. Uh, we will be doing talks about budgets, budgeting. If you have questions about budgets, maybe that you would want me to do videos on, DM me on Twitter or Instagram or even message me or comment below on this video what you would want me to talk about in terms of budgets or specifically maybe related to my budget and how it could help you. And we're also going to do hauls. So sneaker hauls, clothing hauls. We're going to do that. I want you guys to be able to see. Uh, I don't know about if I want you to see. You're probably going to judge the heck out of me when it comes to what I love spending my money on in terms of sneakers and clothes, but it's all budgeted for, so I think it's all right. I think I'll be okay. But this is the first video. Thank you so much if you tuned into this. Uh, if you tuned in all the way to this, why don't you just go ahead and comment sneakers below in the comment section if you sat here and watched this whole thing, because I truly appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna, I'm not doing this for money or to monetize. I don't even have enough subscribers or follow or followers or whatever for that. So I'm doing this just for fun. Get back in front of the camera. Talk to you guys. It's just talks with TJ. I'm sitting on my couch talking with you guys like we're old friends. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Stay tuned. I will try to make sure that I'm uploading consistently every single Monday. Peace out.